Welcome back to the channel, it's the World Tour of Britain and the third and final video featuring the town of Morecambe. So we've been down the East Promenade, down Marine Drive, we've been down the West Promenade and now we take a drive down the Promenade from end to end, from north to south uh, to see what's happening just off the seaside around the shops, the bars, the restaurants and uh, what's around in Morecambe for tourists in 2023. If you like the channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget it's completely free of charge as well. Click that subscribe button and also tick the bell for notifications of future videos. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Always helps the video as well. So let's go in the van and let's take a drive down the promenade in Morecambe. As the sign says, welcome to Morecambe. And the first thing we come to on the left-hand side, just behind the banking there, is Morecambe Golf Club. And what a scenic golf club that must be, looking over the bay. And a very nice clubhouse as well. Uh, just behind the golf club, we have Happy Mount Park, which is great for the kids. It's got the miniature railway in there, an outdoor splash park, a cafe, and I think an adventure golf course as well. So a great place to visit in the summer and uh, plenty of parking just on the left-hand side for the park as well. Coming in towards the town then from the north, coming from the Hest Bank end and heading down towards the Haysham end of Morecambe, so north to south we're going here. And the first thing that greets you really as you enter the town is this uh, 1960s concrete tower, this, uh, this apartment block. But uh, thinking about it with the views they've got, Probably some of the most expensive uh, high-rise living in the UK. And what a view you must get from the top of that tower block. Just past here we see some traditional uh, seaside buildings. Uh, probably in the past many of these would have been B&Bs and possibly hotels as well. One on the left that has the big veranda, I think was a hotel back in the day. And also a mixture of residential properties as well. Now the good thing about Morecambe at this end of town, on the right hand side you'll see many cars and some camper vans parked up on the side of the promenade. I do believe you're allowed to park and overnight park your camper van at this part of the town. So it could be a cheap way of visiting Morecambe without having to spend money on accommodation. Just bring your camper van and uh, pitch up for the evening. Just on the left is the main road to the M6 you would take to come into town and head back onto the motorway if you were visiting Morecambe uh, by road. And a very expensive and new apartment block on the left there as well. Just coming into the part of town where the hotels really start, the Strathmore Hotel on the left in Promenade Music, a place I'd probably spend a fortune in if I was there for far too long. <laughs> and uh, this hotel here, coming up towards uh, the Mayfair, was uh, closed for quite a few years and uh, thankfully back open again and looking good. As we turn the corner here, we come towards what you would call the touristy uh, part of the town and you'll see uh, some of the more recognisable uh, icons of Morecambe as we turn the corner here. And again, on the left-hand side, many bed and breakfast and boarding house accommodations. And I've got to say, most are open, in good condition, and uh, all good, which is great. Not too many that I can see, certainly, that are closed. So uh, that's uh, a great sign to see. And just on the left-hand side here, a very grand building in Morecambe. It's Morecambe Town Hall. And just beside that, where the bingo hall stands today, was something far grander. This used to be Morecambe Tower. Yes, Morecambe had a tower, built the same time, around the same time as the Blackpool Tower. And underneath there had the Gaumont Cinema and also a ballroom as well and an events pavilion. Long gone now, I think demolished around about the 1960s. But uh, who knew that Morecambe had a tower? Coming towards some of the bigger hotels in Morecambe now, just on the left-hand side. And on the right, we have the RNLI building and the slipway down into the water. And just beside that, a memorial to the cockle pickers who sadly lost their lives at Morecambe Bay a few years ago. 
quite a bit of work happening in town as well to upgrade some of the buildings, which is good. But again, driving through town today in June as I'm doing, uh, most shops are open, most restaurants are open, and the town's looking, I think, in pretty good condition. Just passing the famous clock tower, uh, which is on the right-hand side on the seafront. As we come towards uh, a famous sign in Morecambe, it's been there for many, many years for the Palladium Cinema. Just in front of us, the cinema long gone, but the sign uh, preserved for historical reasons. And uh, I wonder what the last film was that was ever shown in the Palladium Cinema. If you know, you can let me know in the comments. Maybe you were even there. So at this part of town there's plenty of options for food and drink. We have Eric's Cafe just on the left, just passing Eric Morecambe's famous statue on the right hand side. And also some amusement arcades for the kids as well at this part of town. But a good variety of shops as we approach the Winter Gardens building, which is just on the left hand side. Famous building, red brick building in Morecambe. Uh, that to this day is still under restoration. It closed its doors in 1977 for the last time, but since then has been taken over by a charitable trust and local people who have been there uh, slowly but surely bring the building back to its original glory. And some stripped back performances still happen on the stage uh, occasionally across the year. A good view of the famous Midland Hotel in front of us as well. Uh, built in 1933, it shut down for a while in the 90s, but is back open again and looks absolutely amazing. And just on the, the left-hand side, a couple of Art Deco buildings there as well. The one that's closed used to be the Woolworth store in Morecambe. Coming up on the left is the old railway station and this pretty much is the only events venue left in Morecambe of any sort of size. It still maintains its railway station appearance but the railway track was actually diverted around about 25-30 years ago to a smaller station building further off the promenade. So the building now, although preserved on the outside as a railway station and still looks like a railway station, is actually an events venue, bar and restaurant. On to West Promenade now then, and on the left hand side this was the site of the old Frontierland theme park and where this lamppost is right here past the bus stop was exactly where the Polo Tower used to stand, the famous Polo Tower that towered over Morecambe since 1993 and eventually demolished in 2017, many years after the Frontierland theme park closed its doors. So a couple of pubs, restaurants and hotels at this part of town. It's a much quieter end of Morecambe now that Frontierland no longer exists. And of course, on the right-hand side of this would have been the old West End Pier. So at one time there was plenty to do, plenty happening at this end of town. But these days it seems much, much quieter as really, apart from uh, the occasional pub and restaurant and shop, there's not much else going on around this end of Morecambe. Just on the right-hand side where the, the statue is or that uh, memorial of the fishing rod uh, is where the West End Pier used to actually be. And on the left-hand side where we are now was the old Alhambra Theatre, which uh, burnt down in 1970, uh, was restored to a degree, and since then has been an events venue, but not a proper theatre as it used to be before the fire happened. Coming towards the end of town now and the end of the West Promenade. But as I mentioned, still more hotels, more guest houses on the left. And pleased to report that nearly all of them uh, seem to be open for business and in good condition. The town, I think, is on the up. It's definitely looking better. A lot of work has been done, money has been spent, and I think it's looking in pretty good condition. If you have any memories of coming to Morecambe on holiday uh, back in the day and remember some of the places we've been talking about, then please do leave some comments and uh, share your thoughts and memories with everybody else watching the video. If you liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like the channel, please do hit subscribe and tick the bell for future notifications of videos to come. It's completely free. And if you want to see more of Morecambe, then check out my other two videos. Uh, one on Marine Drive for Central Promenade and the other one for West Promenade. 
Until the next time, thanks for watching and bye for now.